Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you gameplay of an early access train simulator game, SimRail. And of course I'll talk about my first impressions with the game. The game is in early access and it's made by 20 or so people. So don't expect high polish and uh, feature each product. And there's also a DLC uh, <laughs> for this game already and this rubs people the wrong way. For good reason to be honest. It looks bad when you are this early in the development of a game and come up with DLCs. In people's minds, you should finish the game they paid you to finish before adding these kinds of uh, features. This is the <laughs> DLC, which is mixed, but not many people bought it anymore. Let's see what uh, the developers have to say about their game. SimRail is a new era of railway simulators. Realistic driving physics, the environment generated on the basis of geodetic data and the extensive multiplayer mode are just some of the elements that game includes. Join the travel and visit about 500 kilometers of real routes created with all details. Take control of trains from different eras and drive safely to the final station on time. Most popular steam, diesel and electric vehicles use realistic physics based on technology known before only in professional simulators for training drivers. Enter in signal box, this is cool, and become a train dispatcher. Take care of your station, prepare the path for the train keeping in mind the rules and schedule. The devices from different eras but remember that something can always break. Enjoy multiplayer and cooperate with players from around the world as a train driver or as a dispatcher with real-time weather and communication. And the quality of graphics. Thanks to the Unity engine, you can lose yourself in the virtual world. The grass and trees moving depends on the wind, dynamic weather systems with puddles and snow drifts, living world and... Yeah, this is uh, marketing bullshit. Let's... Let's see what what the game is like, you know. But before that, uh, let's see the menus. In the graphics, you have everything you can think of, even DLSS and FSR. So you have FOV sliders and all the good stuff, really. On the sound, also you can tune uh, different ambient sounds and locomotives and stuff. So, yeah, if something is too loud, you can tone it down. In the simulation settings, you can turn off the vigilance system, and which I strongly recommend you do because it's annoying you can use track ir i have it here but i didn't use it uh, because i didn't know this feature exists in the game when i recorded it you know but i suspect it works so yeah we have uh, so far in the game two routes two sceneries as they say and uh, in each scenery they implemented i don't know a few scenarios with different locomotives, different loadouts. So yeah, the game has no story, <laughs> has no uh, career mode, which is a pity, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, every train game I saw follows the same pattern, really. In the front of you, you can see a trucks locomotive with a freight train loaded with a coal for one of the power plants in Eastern Poland. You will lead it on a section from Stasic coal mine in Katowice to the Sosnowiec... Everything looks station. cool, but, but uh, and stones on the tracks. I, I hate how everyone implements those in, the in their games. One on a keyboard. I'm a 3D artist, by the way. I, I know I can do it better. Way better. With no resource cost, really. Turn on the battery and activate the driver's seat. The interior look full. The rear wall of the cabin. Hamulec bezpieczeństwa. To sit on the driver's seat, press on it. Hamulec bezpieczeństwa. Our vehicle. I think that audio is broken or something. Contact line system. So it's necessary to lift the pantograph. Hamulec bezpieczeństwa. 
Hamo, let's best. But the audio in this game is pretty good, actually. Now, close the quick circuit breaker. If you don't mind the voices, because yeah, the devs are Polish and. It's clearly their voices uh, in the tutorials and stuff. So yeah, I expect in the final release they'll do some something at least mimicking <laughs> a professional uh, narrator or something. The game loop is simple. You accelerate and yeah, you just need to manage your power and brakes, and this is it. And of course, it differs from locomotive to locomotive, but this is the main gist of it, you know. Yeah, so you don't need to, in this case, uh, go above 40 kilometers per hour because you'll, you'll get, I don't know, some sort of penalties. I didn't even try to understand uh, that system. So, yeah. You need to go from point A to point B and be there on time. And that's pretty hard to do, actually. Because the times are tight, you don't have a lot of um, room for errors. So if you're below below the speed like I'm here, I'm pretty sure you'll be late. And if you're above that, you'll get uh, penalty points. So the complexity comes from uh, from managing speed, I believe. You At least the stop. for me, Remember this is the train uh, needs a long distance to stop. After stopping, give permission to open the doors. Yeah, and you know, you need to know the stopping distance of uh, of your train, the braking distance. I mean, the messages and the the signaling on the screen is a bit wonky because, yeah. Something just pops up uh, telling you you can stop now. Oh, Jesus! Turn the key clockwise to activate the cabin. Before acknowledging diligence system tests, move reverser handle into forward or reverse position. Acknowledge diligence system. Turn on the splitter of the radio telephone. It is located on the right hand side of the cabin's rear wall. Yeah, for, for, for these kinds of buttons um, that are out, your, out of your view, you need to implement some sort of uh, arrows like, um, like the ones you see in shooters, you know, uh, pointing you to the direction of the button because you don't see it. Sometimes the button is or the lever is hidden. And, yeah. It would be cool. The pantograph. Wait for the voltage to appear. Ah, and the outline on the on the buttons, uh, which you need to press, there needs to be another color because on some uh, panels I couldn't see that yellow. Enable the circuit. Stupid little outline. It needs to glow. It needs to be bigger and I don't know red or green. Enable compressor. Wait for a main tank to fill. Train brake handle is in a cutoff position. Move a train brake handle. In this case, you can clearly see it because it's a big element and it's in your face. But sometimes, trust me, you you don't see it. Parking brake is active. Release it using handle on the rear wall of the cabin. Use the call button on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness to the train dispatcher. Zawiercie do 40665 próba łączności. Zawiercie do 40665 próba łączności. 
Zawiercie 4065 jest gotowy do drogi. Nie podaję Close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. The close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Take care not to exceed maximum of 600 ampere. And I overloaded the locomotive because I exceeded the capacity of the locomotive. Move drive handle to zero position. Acknowledge Villagen system. So yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, the tutorial is helpful and it does its job actually. It helps you. My problem is uh, at some point the tutorial becomes useless, doesn't tell you anything and you can do whatever you want, every wrong thing under the sky. And I think that's bad because the, the length of the this tutorial is uh, 50 minutes. And if you fail after 40 or 30 minutes of uh, close line working these levers the it, it, it feels bad i know i don't know what else to say it, it is just not right first move shunting and drive handle to the zero position four train brake handle towards you to apply braking force I know the tutorial needs to be uh, needs to have some contextual features like if you're a certain distance uh, from a station or I don't know a point where you need to do something to slow down or anything this guy should pop out and tell you hey my dude you you need to slow down your locomotive you know you, you need to slow down the train now <laughs> because judging by your current speed your braking distance is this long and stuff like that. I don't, know. I don't know, make it more useful. Because right now, after that uh, initial start, the tutorial ended basically. Even if I continued practicing without knowing what I'm doing, because let's, let's be honest, I didn't know what I'm doing. Look, I just passed a waypoint. Actually, it, it was uh, light and I had to slow down but I completely stopped the train what can you do bro? it is what it is so yeah th this will create some friction with uh, with people and I see some negative reviews regarding this so it's not in my head or anything it's it's a real issue but yeah, you, you just need to overcome it if you <laughs> decide to pull the trigger on this game. Other than that, it looks cool, mostly. I, I, I'm just annoyed by the, by the trees and the vegetation, really, because uh, everywhere you look, you see, you see the, the damn uh, bushes, like they're thrown around randomly. Look, over here on the right, I'd like to see a cornfield. On the left, I'd like to see a sunflower field or whatever you guys grow in Poland. You know, it's at the moment it's it's uh, it looks cool, but it's samey. It looks the same. It's it's ge just generic uh, foresty area. The the stations look great though. I like I like them. I like the lines, the electric, uh, the electric lines. I don't see a lot of anti-aliasing problems like I see in most games that have a lot of lines like this. The props in the stations are pretty cool. The locomotives and the uh, wagons also look great. The buildings around the stations are pretty cool. People around. And here I, I failed to, to realize I need to ch change the channel. I, I mean, I realized it, 
clearly because I'm toying with the radio, but I forgot how to change it. And again, this was the perfect time for the tutorial guy to pop up saying, hey, you need to change the channel, the actual channel, and the glow to appear again on the button showing me. Because it's a tutorial, after all. I need help from the start to the finish, you know. And this, these messages are, are a bit uh, confusing for me. I know uh, I can clearly see them now in the uh, top right of the screen, in the corner. Uh, it tells me you need to stop in whatever uh, distance, but yeah, it, need, it needs to be some somehow in my in my face. So I ha I have some problems with uh, with the signaling in uh, on the hard and so here I stopped the train completely and I need to release the brake to back down to back up because I overshoot the station of course so yeah I think I'll uh, that zero minute delay <laughs> it's a lie I'm pretty sure I will have. Uh, Safety delay by the end of this. Use the call button on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness to the train dispatcher. Dobrowa Gorincha do 40665. Będzie wyjazd? Wyjazd to będzie na pewno skończymy to pierwszy z powodu ustawki. No zrozumiałem. I even timed a good horn. You've just passed your breakpoint. What? This, this. <laughs> oh my god, this message uh, threw me off so, so bad. I just stopped the train for no reason. I, I should have just uh, continued, but yeah, I brake and I, I stopped. That's the thing with, with the with the brakes. You need to everything is delayed. You know, you apply the brake. Uh, you apply the brake. A few good seconds pass, and then when you release, oh, wow! Look, look at this. This is so cool. Another train. And also, when you release the brakes, you you need to. Everything needs to be timed with the uh, with the delay in mind while driving trains. That sound can be annoying, but it's a specific sound in this locomotive. I'm fine with it, because I like, uh, I like rea realism and immersion. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I should be accelerating more, I guess. I don't know why I, why I didn't um, try the 43 uh, throttle position. I, I only kept it at 28. I'm approaching the station and I'm panicking. <laughs> Again, too late. 
it's my first time, bro. What what can you do? It's my first time. Emergency break. Yeah. Yeah, and I overshoot again, of course. Of course. Minus 15 points. Nice. 50 points. So yeah, this is it. The game is cool. Uh, I haven't tried the rest of the locomotives. There are quite a few. Uh, not as many as in uh, the other uh, train game made, made by Dovetail Games, I believe. I'll, I'll play that too at some point, for sure. But there are quite a few locomotives in this. Yeah, and the final station. Of course, I react slowly. What can you do, man? Oh, actually, no. I stopped on time. So, yeah, this took me 52 minutes. And, yeah, I got 6 minutes delay. That's a lot. So, yeah, this is it from me. The game is, is fun. I believe it can be a lot of fun in multiplayer with uh, real dispatchers and stuff that uh, play around with the signals because this is what I think they do. I, I have no clue as I didn't play it. But yeah, it could be fun if you'd have a dynamic cam campaign on the map. I don't know, something like constantly evolving uh, servers or something. I don't know. I would explore more in that direction if I were the developer of this game because this is what is lacking in these kinds of uh, of video games they all have uh, pretty cool routes but you go from point a to point b without a purpose yeah many people are turned off by by this i know i have problems in uh, microsoft flight simulator flying uh, around for multiple days after i finished learning an airplane for example because i don't see it purpose in it and if i want to fly uh, in some place uh, i want to try a new plane i want to learn something you know and of course enjoy the sights in the process but just if, if i already know how to fly it or in this case uh, drive the, the, the locomotive what's the incentive for me to jump in i don't know what scenario and drive it maybe maybe the game is not for me i don't know but i i enjoy playing these these kinds of games for a limited uh, duration of course but yeah pretty cool pretty rough around the edges and yeah there's a lot of room for improvement but it's it's pretty cool anyway this is it from me guys i will recommend this game because i support indie dev teams and these guys are onto something clearly but only if you don't mind what comes with uh, early access territory limited content and features, bugs, crashes and all the bad stuff you could think of. If you're sensible to any of those things, stay away until it releases. And about the DLC. Yeah, it sucks, but I can see an universe in which the devs ran out of money and had to do something to not close the shop. And I don't judge too much a game that's in early access, especially if it has some promising features like Simrail does. I didn't even try multiplayer or, I don't know, being a dispatcher, so it's not like I experienced everything in my 5 or so hours I have played this. So yeah, thumbs up, I hope it turns out okay and I will keep an eye on this game for sure. Watch this next if you are into trains. Trail Valley is another great title you might be interested in. And like and subscribe if you want to help me help you find good games in this pile of shit the gaming industry had become late. Until next time, take care and see ya.